Hi Fairy Academy, this is Miss Chocorolo. Um, nice to see you guys again. So welcome to Art Lockdown. Um, so today our topic will be on natural form and we'll be focusing on insects. So I've created a, a mood board here and my artist I picked is Abby Diamond. I quite like her watercolour drawing so I've kind of recreated a copy of that using her techniques and so the techniques here is wet on wet technique and that she, she's used a dry on dry so I will show you how it's all done now for equipment wise what we need is a pencil to start off to start drawing so you need a HP pencil um, watercolor so with watercolors you can get it from BNM you can get it from WH Smith um, maybe Argos um, Hobbycraft Amazon, eBay, but anywhere, anyone that's selling second hand will do. Um, and then you need just a normal brush, any brush would do. I've got two different sizes here, so a small and a little bit bigger, you could use that. And, um, and then you would need, yes, I have a beer glass of water, you could use a pot of water if you want to. And I've got, um, this. I went to the library. Um, I've got some nice insect books. Um, make sure you don't rip it. But what you can do is either you, if you have a photocopier, that'd be great. But if you don't, don't worry. You can just take a photo. I think I've got my phone here somewhere. So you can just take a picture, and then you can copy by um, um, from 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 your phone. Um, so there's lots of ways you could do. Um, I've actually just photocopied mine and um, yeah so I will be drawing a bee and then maybe actually I might try actually I'm going to do a dragonfly that's a dragonfly isn't it so I'll do the dragonfly okay let's get started okay right I have took a photo of this picture as you can see it's on my phone um, there's a lot, there's actually four ways of copying a picture. Um, first one is just a direct copy, so by looking at it, um, you can just draw it, or you can draw the shapes, what shapes you can see, you can do that, or you could do the grid method as well, or basically you can trace it. There's another method, but today I just thought we could, um, um, if, I think you guys probably will be doing it from your phone, so I'm not going to show you the grid method, so I'm going to leave that. Um, we'll just have a look on our phone. So, can you see? Can you see it? Yeah? Right, so what we're going to do, shapes. We're going to look at shapes. Okay. So this is quite a bigger version, so you can see. Um, so on my phone, so I'm just going to put my my phone away for now. But so pretend that's my phone. Um, the shape here, kind of like a circle. Okay, there's my little circle there. Another shape here. So that's my that's the head, the body down here. So with your pencil, very gently. So you don't really need to use a rubber. So if you press it down, like harshly like that, and if you make a mistake, then you have to keep rubbing it out. That's no rubber. So that's why it's good if you just do it nice and lightly, and go over and over the shape till you get it right. And that's like a, a rectangular shape. There's one on the other side. Okay. And then you've got so I'm just doing the 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 wings. Again, um you could also I do a lot of measuring when I'm drawing just to get the shape right. Um so you can see that the body's quite bigger than the head. Okay. Let's 
And that's the Wingo's look like that shape. Yeah, just focus on the shapes. Don't get too bogged down on the details, just the shape, just the outline. So that passes the head. So there's my head, so it's somewhere around here. Then you've got that bit there, one second. Actually, so you see, um, you can go over and over. I am making mistakes. That's why I'm not. I'm trying not to use the rubber. I'm doing it gently as possible. And when I'm really, really happy, that's what I could. Um, Define the lines. Okay. Okay, so I've got to do the, the bottom wing here. So you can see that's just kind of over here. So nice, sketchy, kind of, just a nice little sketch. So you want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or you can just ex exaggerate it. It doesn't have to be. So you've kind of got that shape, yeah? Let's have a look at it. Move your picture back. It does it look right? What do you think of the composition? And there's little other shapes at the top of the head as well. So what I've done is I just kind of lightly sketched it, and I go over it again. Now I'm kind of making the lines a little bit more darker now. Yeah, that's... Okay, let's see. You can do this in the garden. If you have a garden, it would be nice and sunny, very therapeutic. And you could do it anywhere you want. So you can see the movement of my hand, the way I'm doing it. Da da da, like that. Looking constantly, shapes. I can see some. Then we can start. And then you start doing your lines. And just building it up, step by step. Yeah? Okay, and then I think we're ready to do some watercolours. I think I'm pretty much happy with the um, shape. Um, that must be a tree there, so I'm not going to do that one. Um, okay. I've got to do that bit here. Let's just add that bit, that shape there on the side of the head. Okay, right, watercolour, let's have a look. Um, so, you can, so I'm going to use Abby Diamond's kind of technique style, which I really love, got that washy effect. So, you need a brush, let's have a nice 
don't know what size this one is. Oh, it's a six. Okay. So first of all, let's choose a nice. So she's got two different types, two different greens here. Let's start with, we always start with lighter, don't we? Start with lighter. Don't need a lot. Okay. And what she does is, she kind of goes over the shapes, but usually we always say to us, to our students that we have to colour it in the lines carefully, but this one, she goes over the shape, but she does this lovely little Kind of uh, blends it in, so we can have lots of nice light green. So, can you see the way I'm using my brush strokes? I'm going circular motions. I'm adding a lot of water, not too much. Um, of the colour, I like it to spread it, it's nice and gentle, very soft, again, over the shape, and the bits where there is no green, I don't add, so I leave that white, with the dark green. bleeds through doesn't it? You don't really need to add any more water. This it's wet on wet technique, so it's already wet. Just add a nice colour it's kind of it's lovely the way it spreads. It's got that nice little tone effect. You can get carried away sometimes. You could choose wherever you want to, it doesn't have to be exact. Have a little bit here, nice little bit there. So there's a little bit of dark tones here, just here, a little bit there. I think I need to add a little bit of water now because it's drying up and I don't want it to dry. A little bit of water just to blend it in there. A little bit dark here. Oops! <laughs> Keep mixing it the wrong colours. Here. A bit dark here. See how dark that is. Again, I'm just kind of using that kind of technique. Just don't be afraid, just go for it. It's quite a nice little background. Kind of washy. It's kind of dreamy, isn't it? It's a dreamy. Okay, and then this is, and then we'll look at some other colours you can see. You can see some yellow, so we can add a bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow here. You can see some lines in there. Maybe you might need to use a finer brush if you want to, so we can use maybe a finer brush. See what, can you see the difference with a finer one? more detailed. 
Yeah. Let's see a bit of yellow on that side there. Yeah. Right, so one of them could be on dry on dry technique. So this, is, this part is dry, so I want to show it a little bit more. I'm doing that bit there. Um. Again. So basically, you need good shape lines. And then your water technique, wet and wet, then wet on dry, and it could be dry on dry as well. And that's it really. So you could try that at home. And send it over to us, please. We would like to have a look at your work. And then when it's dried, what you could do is, you could use a biro, a pen, so you could do some the outlines of it as well. Yeah? Let's add a bit of red before we finish. So this bit is dried. So this is dry on dry technique. see if I can find actually there was a black oh there is a black barrow you can see if it I'll try it you you should really let it dry give it a good maybe 20 minutes to dry or so but because I'm filming this so you can see okay and you can go over until you're happy with your colours there you go right so let's see I'll try and let's just double check if that's very wet. I think that bit's dry. So again, yeah, just go over the lines. You've done you know your kind of um, shading techniques. So lots of lines here. This pen's not very good. <laughs> So it kind of like stands out. So oh, I could use an ink. Try not to use a sharpie, but a nice fine pen. A biro would do. A black pen would do. Something like that. I think this one's running out. But you've got the kind of. The idea. Okay, so yeah, go and have fun.